Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Kyle Yarish with Keller Williams Realty and the Heritage Group up here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Today, we've got Ryan Manley with American Financial Network on the line. Uh, one of our hey, bird lenders. How's it going, man? Doing well. Happy to be here. Well, good. Glad to have you. So today, I wanted to reach out as we're uh, obviously starting the beginning of the year. A lot of you buyers are gearing up to kind of put some things in place in preparation to buy. And I wanted to talk specifically about some loan programs out there that may cater to some of you first-time buyers or people that uh, may not have a ton of savings as they prepare to transition into home ownership. And more specifically, Ryan, potentially some USDA options in the area. So hoping maybe you could give us some insight on some of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. It's a new year. I know a lot of people out there are looking to you know, purchase a house this year, and uh, it's really an exciting time to do that. Um, Recently, in the last you know three or four weeks, the interest rates have gotten a little bit better. I know they were going up there for a bit, and they have dipped a little bit. So it's a good time to you know jump into the market. And I've been seeing a lot of data as far as rental rates increasing. And Arizona has some of the highest year-over-year -year rental you know rate increases that we've seen out there. So people would really be shocked with whatever they're currently paying in rent and what that can equate to in a house. Which we're totally happy to run those numbers for you. So. And then Flagstaff is uh, a very hot market. It's very interesting. It has a lot of cool little niche markets around it. And kind of as you mentioned, uh, the USDA loan is a great one in some of those outlying areas because it is 100% financing and you really have to come in with little or very no money down. So um, it really opens the door for a lot of people that don't have a substantial down payment. There's a big misnomer out there that you need 20% put down to buy a house. That's just not the case, you know. With the USDA loan, you can get in with little to no money down, as little as a 620 FICO score, and uh, it's really a great plan with uh, people that don't have a lot of money to put down. Um, there are a lot of other programs. Um, we do have some options for people that we can go down to a 580 credit score. So, you know, your credit doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, and, uh, you know, we work with people in all different kinds of situations. So. If it were below that, we have some systems and some credit repair teams and some ways to help those people put themselves in a position to buy. Um, and a lot of those programs, you can still get in with as little as 3 or 3.5% 3 down. So they're very, very aggressive. And I know it's tax return time, so a lot of people are getting that money. And uh, as opposed to, you know, taking trips or, you know, splurging with that in dollars, it, uh, buying a house would be a great option. Awesome. Yeah, man, I appreciate the info on that. I think just like you said, you hit it on the head. Flagstaff in general, in comparison to the state, has a little bit higher purchase price. So people think that they have to have all this money saved up. And obviously you want to position yourself for the best uh, scenario. But USDA loans, I think, are a great option for a lot of these people looking to bust into the market. A lot of people also think you have to live in the middle of nowhere. That's not the case. Um, some real popular neighborhoods locally like Kachina, Mountain Air, uh, Belmont, Doney Park, um, actually fall under this qualification with these real loans. And uh, I think it could be a, a huge option for people that may not be aware of those neighborhoods being included. So definitely appreciate the insight on that. Um, for any of you guys that are considering the option to purchase and are looking for some guidance, uh, talking with the lender is the first step. We tell people that all day, every day. You've got to understand what your purchasing power is and uh, actually kind of put a game plan in order to get it going, even if you are a year to six months out. So definitely give Ryan a call. Ryan, any last words you've got for us? Uh, any recommendations or insights on the market moving into 2019? Yeah, kind of just to back up what you said. You know, we see people all the time that start their home search first, looking online. They find a house that they're in love with. They contact you, and you know, you obviously refer them over to a lender first to speak with, and they're not necessarily ready, and they miss out on the house. So it's best to get your ducks in a row, especially in a competitive market like Flagstaff. And uh, make sure you have that pre-qualification letter from us so whenever you do find them the home of their dreams or the best starter home for their family, then they're able to make that offer. And um, everyone can always reach me. You can call me, text me on my mobile phone number. It's 480-203-6263. And you can always jump on my website, which is just dreamhomefunder.com. Um, just fill out the, one of the tabs there really quickly, and myself or one of my teammates will get back with you with a free consultation. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Again, this is Ryan Manley with American Financial Network. I'm Kyle Yarish. All of us over at the Heritage Group would love to help you out uh, with your future home ownership and real estate needs. Please give me a call for any questions, and uh, we look forward to helping you guys in 2019. Thanks, Ryan. Sounds good. My pleasure.